telling you, he's a robot. Don't you think if he was a robot, he would have told us by now? You know how that boy is. He ain't logical. And that's coming from me. There's one way I know we can prove he's not a robot. Hey, Space Penguin. What is it? I have a very important question to ask you. Okay. Which one of these photos does not have a stop sign in it? Top right. Lucky guess. Hi hey everybody, I'm Animal Boy and welcome to Amazing Animal News, the show that brings you happy news about animals! Al has been in the news a lot lately. Wait a sec. Oh. AI has been in the news a lot lately. While most people have been worried that AI will take their jobs and lunch money, scientists have been asking the real questions. Can AI make penguins more socially comfortable? The answer? Surprisingly, yes. Down in Antarctica, specifically Atka Bay, there is a colony of emperor penguins that scientists have been monitoring. Many of these penguins have microchips in them. These chips were put in by scientists to help keep track of which penguin is which, the penguin's age, the penguin's movements, and the penguin's breeding success. All of this data offers very valuable insight into the penguin population's health. There's just one tiny whiny itsy bitsy problem with this. The microchips don't get Wi-Fi. Seems like a big oversight to me, but hey, guess it's hard to go through a penguin leg. Much like the penguins, the data cannot fly through the air to the nearby research station known as Spot. Instead, each of the microchips has a tiny RFID tag on them that can connect to an RFID antenna, which can scan from roughly one meter away. Anytime the scientists wanted to collect data, they actually had to physically go outside to see the penguins with a giant antenna to collect the data, leading to minor social awkwardness. It was torture, a conundrum of unimaginable proportions. With necessity being the mother of invention, the father being a lot of random guys in the Antarctica, I guess, the scientists created Echo, the robotic rover that is used to monitor the penguins. The robot is equipped with a 3D camera so it can check its surroundings, a normal camera so it can get a good view of the penguins, a chip scanner, and long-range Wi-Fi so it can send the data to Spot. Echo has been developed to roam the penguin colony all by itself, using AI to help it navigate safely and calmly towards the penguins. The penguins don't seem to mind, which is strange. If I was a penguin, I feel like I wouldn't mind if I saw like a robot coming towards me. But hey, I'm not a penguin. To test if all penguins feel this kindness towards robots, Mr. Monster will now perform a scientific experiment, since Mookie was busy today. Okay, I'ma be honest with y'all. I am not performing a scientific experiment to see if all penguins are cozy with robots. But I'm performing an experiment to see if Space Penguin is a robot. I think he is, and I will not rest until my theory is proven to be complete and utter fact. Let test number two begin. Test number one was the stop sign thingy. Okay, Space Penguin, come on out. What now? What now? I'm watching Love Island. Callum be tripping. This better be important. What? Oh, uh, sure. So, my suspiciously unfeathered friend, I want you to go buy the thing you are more comfy around. Are you more comfortable with a penguin or a robot? Yes! I knew it! I knew you were a robot! No. Not you, but you, Space Penguin! I knew you were a robot this entire time! You couldn't be more wrong. Space Penguin's not a robot. Space <laughs> Penguin's just more comfortable around robots, as are all penguins. That's the video we're watching. It's true, you know. This can't be! Curse you, scientific method! 
Come on, let's get out of here. I'm not going to be able to talk tomorrow after that one. So as I was saying... Emperor penguins are what are known as indicator species. A species that gives us a good insight on more things, not just the species. They are very susceptible to environmental change. So, monitoring the health of this penguin population can help us monitor the health of the entire Antarctic ecosystem. This ecosystem is extremely under threat and very susceptible to climate change. Knowing the health of these penguins will give us some good insight on whether this ecosystem will be able to survive in a rapidly changing world. Have a good day, and remember folks, that Space Penguin is a robot, and I have proof. Reason number one, he doesn't go to the sea yet.